Hey camp, it's Coach Devin. Welcome to running. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to use a hand tether. So in my hands right now, I have a piece of rope. It's about a foot long, just a straight piece of rope. Um, and that's the equipment that is going to be used for the hand tether. In your equipment box, you should have a piece of rope and that's what you can be using. And you're gonna to wanna to have this piece of rope. You are going to wanna hold one side. Your guide is going to want to hold the other side so you each hold one end of the rope and that is how you are connected using the hand tether so how this works is you're going to take this piece of rope and you're going to hold it in whichever hand you want your guide to be on that side of your body so i like my guide to be on my right side so i'm going to hold my hand tether in my right hand i like to hold it with my thumb on one side and my first two fingers on the other side of the rope and I just like to lightly hold it. So then my guide, my sister Colleen, is going to take this in her left hand and hold it like that. And so then we're gonna be able to use that as we're running and we are ready to go for a run. So as you're running, you want to make sure that the arms connected by the tether are moving together. So as my right arm moves forward, Colleen's left arm will move forward. That way it's the most comfortable way to hold the tether and run in sync. Also make sure that when you're holding your tether, you're not wrapping it around your fingers or your wrist or anything like that just in case anyone falls so you don't injure your fingers. So while you're going to be connected to your guide with this hand tether, you're also going to want to realize the importance of verbal communication. So things like having your guide let you know of a turn right before you turn or of a curb before the curb is super important. So a few strides before you go up or down the curb, um, you should tell your guide like that you need them to tell you where that curb is or a little bit before the turn, have your guide be announcing which way you're turning. You'll also be able to feel some of these things with the tether. So if you're turning um, towards the side that your guide is on, the tether will get tighter in your hands versus if you're turning towards you the tether will get looser in your hand. So you will be able to feel that through the tether, but the verbal communication is really important if that's something that you need. Um, so just make sure communication is on point with your guides. So on one, you'll be stepping up or down the curb. Curb up in three, two, one. If you're struggling to keep your hand in the same spot at the end of the tether, you can tie a little knot in the end of the rope to help keep your hand in the same spot, or even if you just want some more tactile things on the tether. So that's everything for using your hand tether today. Um, thanks for watching this video, and I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your coach, ask me. Um, and I really hope that you guys get the opportunity to go on a run and try using that hand tether sometime today or this weekend. You got this.